Hello and welcome back to another episode of Under 3 Minutes on Fitness Trackers. Today we're going to be talking about the Misfit Shine. It's a beautiful looking thing with a battery inside it, 6 months, you don't need to charge it. That's a pro as I've discussed in one of my other videos. It blinks and can tell you the time of setback feature off, but it tells you the time by blinking. It tells you your score by blinking. Uh, by using the dots on it and how much per, how per, how much percentage of it you've done, it can show you your score in a graph, your activity in a graph or in a circle. Uh, you can add things onto it like sleep, like weight. It can detect your sleep as well, so don't worry about that. You can add food. You can't see them, but it, you can also add a bunch of other things. My camera is bad for some reason. Whatever. It also shows you your points over the long run. So this is my week. I haven't used it in a really long time, but I wanted to get it out to show you guys. And that is the app itself. It's not particularly user friendly, the app, as compared to the Fitbit app, for example. But the, Fit the Misfit Shine itself is a beautiful, beautiful device. It's fantastic. The design's on point. They come out with a whole range of products. They've come out with a watch that is really fantastic. You should check it out. Of all the trackers that I've reviewed thus far, it's been the Fitbit, the Jawbone, the Misfit, and the, uh, the Misfit and the Move. This one's my favorite. It, it doesn't do heart rate, which is the only disadvantage, I guess. Its perks are charging, don't need to do it. Every six months, just replace the battery. Um, and that's about it, I think. It also, obviously, it looks beautiful. I've said that a bunch of times. Thank you for watching. Take care.